Well, I hope that you guys are out slaying Steelhead. I certainly know that we have been. The one thing that drives me crazy out in the field while I'm steelhead fishing though is when my bead won't stay where I want it to. So we're going to show you four different ways today that you can peg your soft bead to maximize your success out on the water. The first way that we're going to peg our bead is with the classic T-stop. These come in most soft bead packs and it is your typical way that almost everybody does it. We'll just simply slide the line into the T-stop guide and pull the T-stop down onto the line and we will slide the T-stop down about two finger lengths from the hook. Once you've got your T-stop on, just simply slide the bead onto your line, slide it all the way down to the T-stop and shove it into the bead. The second way we're going to peg our bead is with a classic bobber stop. Simply slide the line into the guide for the bobber stopper and pull the bobber stopper up over onto the line. Once the bobber stopper is on, then we can just slide our soft bead right onto our line and just simply slide that bead all the way down to meet the stopper. The third way is to peg your bead with the classic bead peg it. For this one, we're actually going to start by sliding the bead onto the line first and slide that down towards the hook. Take the peg it and take the small tapered end of it and just basically do a half hitch with the peg it around the line. Now we just slide the bead down to the peg it, go all the way until we meet the hook until the peg it comes out. Then we can slide the bead and the peg it back up to our desired location. Make sure to grab the peg it and pull it until it's nice and tight. Then we simply trim the peg it on both sides. And then we just pull our little half hitch off here that we used in order to get it in there. The fourth and final way is using a glass or a brass bead, which is a really cool technique because it makes it look like there's an embryo inside of it if you use a translucent bead. Take one of the glass or brass beads, which are very tiny. This is a two millimeter. Just run the line through the bead. Pull our bead down to our desired location. Then we are going to loop the line around and go from behind and through the bead a second time. This part can be a little challenging because it is such a small bead. Got it there pretty quick. And then before you close this loop, you're just going to run your tag end through it so that it does a half hitch and you're just going to tighten down the bead. Once the bead is on there, we just simply slide the soft bead down until that bead ends up in the middle of the soft bead. Well, there you have it, guys. There is four different ways that you can peg up your soft beads. I really hope you enjoyed that tip and I really hope that it helps you find success out on the water. If you enjoy steelhead fishing, you will probably love this video right here where I hooked a steelhead on the first cast. It was amazing. Until next time, guys, we will see you. Stay fishy.